what God cannot do does not exist what God cannot do does not exist my name is Eureka Anderson I'm making this testimony video from the US on behalf of my son my son of uh, got sick in September of 2022 and his, he started having this fever we're talking to his PCP and it did some labs for him all of his labs were abnormal even the HIV test for him because they could not understand why his labs were abnormal the HIV did have a B test for him everything came back negative for his other labs his electrolytes everything was bad so the PCP asked that we go back in two weeks we went back in two weeks it was worse than the previous one that it did so he asked her to come back in another two weeks my son started leaping on his legs he could not walk so when he go to school there was concern so the, the school thought he had some sort of development so they asked that we go and see the doctor to bring a letter when we went the doctor said he didn't see nothing he was fine he does not have no slow development but he had something else going on in his body we didn't know so his legs started hurting they recommended we go to the bone doctor went to the bone doctor they did five x-ray they didn't see nothing they couldn't find nothing but they didn't know what was causing the pain so they asked that we go to the er to ask for referral for his knees to see if he has septic arthritis and we went there they said he was too little so they recommend that we go to children hospital where they have a lot of specialty for children so we went to children hospital they saw him they did a test they came back with the result. They said, Oh, we are so sorry. Your son has acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So when they said that, I said, What God cannot do does not exist. And the doctor could not even understand what I was saying, but I kept saying it. And she said, Oh, we know that you're so much devastated, but this is what happened. So we have to start the chemo right away because we don't want it to spread. So I said, Let's wait because I cannot just digest this news. Even though with me being on nurse, I still could not digest it. I said, boy, and I started telling God, I said, boy, my glory uh, to Houston, Texas. I said, Lord, it, it should not be in vain. I went there for your purpose. I was on our son. I said, but 10 things around. I said, Daddy, boy, the God of Pastor Jerry. I said, 10 things around. So I was on this platform. I was frustrated, but one day, I don't know, it was you know, in my dream or what, I don't know, like I received a call from Pastor Jerry and when I received the call, I heard the birthday and Pastor Jerry saying to me, it is well, your son is well, it is well, once you are on a platform, once you are on that 7 a.m. platform, it is well, your son is well in the name of Jesus. After that, that revelation, that dream, I grew hope, I grew faith, I start, my, my prayer life was stronger. As we were still on that 21 day fast, my son started vomiting, he started having serious diarrhea, everything, his oxygen level went low, he got so blue, my son was unresponsive, the doctors, everybody running head to scatter. And my, me and his dad were there. I was still on the platform as Pastor Jerry was breaking the fast. They were on the platform praying. I was still there praying. I said, Pastor Jerry said, we will not be buried. We will not bury. And even his dad was like, you see what is happening to your son. And you still on the phone. I said, you don't even know what I'm listening to. I said, if you know what I'm listening to, you'll join me in prayer. I said, you'll join me in prayer. you even take the food for me and listen. So I was still declaring. I was still declaring. I was still declaring. As Pastor Jerry is praying on, on the platform, I was still declaring. And God who had it, he came back. He came through everything was fine and we stayed there for four hours they monitor us everything was okay he, we, we came home that day when we came back he was playing like but no more challenge nothing happened so they asked that we go for another test to check for the cancer so that day i prayed to god i said god i said as we we, we finished the 21 day i said papa gave him my evidence i mean i shouldn't be a spectator of other people's testimony gave him my own testimony let me not be a spectator i have invited other people to the platform and they have given their testimony they have gotten their result you have given them their evidence what more about me i said god show me yourself i said prove yourself the god of pastor jerry the god of nsbc i said prove yourself the 31st a woman and let's repeat this shirt i said as i went in the shirt when the devil see me said the devil will run with this shirt on me i'm using this as a mantle i said the devil will see this shirt and the devil will run they will give me away as we're going to do that test so they say we should keep him empty or he should not eat nothing by mouth but they come here pastor jerry can pray on that morning i said even though doctor said he should not eat 
but we give you this communion. Everything that in your system, everything that in your body, with this communion, everything will flush out in the name of Jesus. I say the God of and be the God of Pastor Jerry. I call upon you this morning. Let that test result come back in our favor. Let there be a turnaround. Let there be a turnaround. There were so many times Pastor Jerry mentioned my son case on this altar. He one day he told him, he said, There's a four years old child with leukemia. What am I saying? Four year old child. Holy Bible. They say he has cancer. They say he has cancer. Four year old child. If you are the mother, put it on the live stream. The devil is a liar. I don't care the stage that they told you that cancer is out. But I know a healer. I know a healer. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. I command. Let it be reversed, my father. I said there are so many times Pastor Jerry has mentioned my gift. I said today is my evidence when I give you the communion when the test result it take three to four days to come out when it made it again. So after that the test result they came back and the doctor came. I have a good news. So she said good news. I said what work in that does not exist. I said what work in that does not exist. She said we check and we get that fund no cancer. There's no cancer fund. And now that I say what God cannot do does not exist. Pastor Jerry said we will not service negativity while we money. The doctor said could not understand what I was saying, but I did not care. I knelt down and I kept on praising God. Pastor Jerry, thank you so much. The God that you serve. I say thank you to him. May the oil on your head never go dry. May God continue to give you that. May God continue to give you that strength. Thank you for answering the call of God. Pastor Jerry, thank you so much, Mommy Enno. Thank you so much, Pastor. Okay, Pastor Oguru. Some of all, we learn how to pray now. We could not pray, but we know how to pray. You guys have made our spiritual life grow stronger. 